Hey everybody, Jeremy here with the Practical IT channel. Today I'm bringing you a video that I've been working on for a while now and we are going to be talking about Blue Iris for video surveillance. Let's get into it. We're going to go ahead and get Blue Iris and get it installed. Go to blueirissoftware.com. Go to the download tab. And we're going to grab version 5. And that will start the download. And while we're waiting on that, I just want to show you what we're working with here for this uh, virtual machine. We're in disk management and we've got disk zero, which is a virtual hard drive set up in Proxmox VE. This is on an SSD. We've also got disk one, which is an SSD and that is passed through Proxmox directly to this VM. So that's where we're going to be storing footage from Blue Iris. So go ahead and close that and our download should be done and we can go ahead and open the installer. Okay, welcome to the prereq system uh, setup wizard next. And we'll go and we'll let those uh, install. Agree to terms, and this should go fairly quick. Set up successful, and this is the second one. Set up successful. Welcome to the Blue Iris 5 setup wizard. Next, agree to terms in the license agreement, and we'll set it up on the C drive, install. If you read me file and launch Blue Iris 5, finish. Yes. Okay, so right now we are doing the trial version. We've got 15 days remaining and I do have a license, so we'll get that plugged in a little bit later. So we're going to say next. And that's fine. Blah, blah, blah. We'll just say demo for right now because we can go back and add our license key in later. And so we are in Blue Iris. And just for the sake of argument, let's see. Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some features of this app. And allow Blue Iris Video security and webcam software to communicate on these networks. And private network is fine. Right click here to add a camera. And we are going to call this Amcrest. Short name is Cam1. This is a network IP camera. And we'll just select the defaults there. And this is where I'm going to have to get the camera out of the box. Hold that thought. Okay, so let's uh, go back to the desktop. And we want to run Advanced IP Scanner and find out the IP address of our camera. So let's see what we can find. And we've found it already. Amcrest 
is 172-1674-38. So, come back over here. And admin, admin is the default password. This is an Amcrest. Let's see. Amax Amcrest model is IP2M 841B version 3. That should be, yeah, IP23. That's fine. Stream profiles. At this point, we're going to accept the defaults. Um, VIF source, video source one. We're going to say OK and see what happens. OK, network IP, Amcrest Cam 1 color we're going to go audio is turned off record uh, we'll just accept the defaults at this point and see okay um hi over the camera obviously i haven't really configured anything Let's take a look at this. What's this? This is volume. We don't have audio enabled on that, so we don't need that. We've got group settings. Contrast. Maybe not. Nope. nope. I think we want to go back to zero. Nope. How about two? Uh, that's probably as good as it's going to get. What's this? Brightness, three, nine. Okay, that's livable. Um, so we have a basic um, camera set up here. Obviously, we've got a little bit more work to do and record start stop snapshot okay so video network ip go to configure on that okay so that is better there hopefully say okay And let's see, rotate, max rate, 30 frames per second. So, anamorphic, force size, flip left, right, area of interest, edit overlays. Let's see what this does. Is any better? Still a little on the choppy side. So, we've got some more adjusting to do. Here we go. Um, you can stop playing anytime now. <laughs> uh, let's just delete that one. Yes. Not delete one items, maybe protected or in use. Pause. Delete, destroy. Yes, yes, okay. Record, start, stop. Show clips dialog. So we're gonna try to delete this again. Yes, might be protected or in use. So we're gonna take this and we're going to Take a look at the settings that we've got here. Convert, export, uh, open. 
Okay, so we've got, we don't have the banner down here or the time and date down here. Um, let's actually go into the camera. So let's quit out of this and we're going to open Chrome. And we're going to go to 192, once, or, let's see, 2, 16, 7, 4, 38. Log in with the default. And set a new password never okay hi much less lag there and we'll reopen the demo do you want to download and install optional and free code project ai server for ai alert confirmation no we're going to delete the camera and we're just going to add it back in because it should be fairly trivial to do that. Okay, we're going to call this Amcrest 1. We once again have action from that and we have the correct date and time in both locations so uh obviously i'll find that okay no zoom that's fine go to preset no we're not going to do that all right so we've got the basic blue iris up and running just for the sake of argument I want to see what the performance is looking like uh, so far we are using 10% of eight virtual processors we've got signal coming in recording and looks like we are doing all right at the moment just curious to keep an eye on things here blue iris is using 8.39 percent 169.9 meg of ram this will be interesting to continue playing with. Okay, let's uh, play around with a few settings here. So if we go to settings, clips and archiving, we'll leave the database alone. That's gonna be on the C drive. New files. So this we wanna move over to the F drive, Blue Iris Data. Make a new folder. We're going to call it Blue Iris and New. We'll say OK to that. OK, Users, Local Console, Admin web server startup other and of course there are many many settings that we will be able to change as we dig deeper into this um, my goal here is just to get this set up and moving and to leave it running for a couple of days and see what happens okay uh i'm back we have got the license key put in so you can see that there's no longer the demo text across the screen
I'll probably do a follow-up video on Blue Iris if I can get that graphics card in the server and see how that performs if it if I can get it to work. Uh, the other piece to the puzzle is just going through the settings in a little more uh, fine-grained fashion, uh, hitting the documentation on the Blue Iris site, and just making sure I've got everything that uh, needs to be set up, configured, and ready to go. And there you have it, everybody. That is my walkthrough of setting up Blue Iris in a VM. And it runs pretty decent. The, yes, there are some things I can still tweak. And that is great. And I also want to experiment with passing through a graphics card. So there will likely be a follow-up video. And we will talk about some of those things in that next video and see if we can even improve the performance of this VM running Blue Iris. Before I go, I want to say thank you to a couple of special people. First, we've got Joe over at Learn Blue Iris, who was part of the collaboration for this video and getting me turned on to Blue Iris and making the suggestion that I mix Blue Iris and virtualization, and this is what we came up with. Also, I wanna give a special thanks to Ashley over at Capture the Concept. I have very much appreciation for the logos and the thumbnails for the midweek news videos that Ashley did. So if you're a YouTuber out there looking for uh, some help with thumbnails or a new logo, check capture the concept out and finally if you got something out of this you know what to do and on that note thank you once again for watching and i'll see you in the next video have a great day